Hey everybody, this is Shane with another toy review. This time I am reviewing Decepticon Drop Shot. He is a repaint of Cybertron Defense Scatter Shot from the Cybertron series back in 2005, 2006. Uh, they took that mold and did a repaint of him for the Universe 2.0 line. Now, first off, a couple of things about the figure in his alt mode, which is a really nice um, MLRS tank mode. These do go up. They go up to about a, about a, it's the maybe 75 degree angle. This is on a rotating base, so you can position it wherever you want which is pretty nice he has a rifle that goes with him now he does have a spot here and here you can uh, you can obviously use that as a spot to store his rifle which is what I generally do but the primary purpose of those spots really is so you can put a little mini con on there if you really want to but despite how he looks he's actually really simple to transform matter of fact his transformation is real simple for a Voyager class first off start off by popping the sides rotate it 180 degrees there's a peg hole right here there's a peg right there Same thing on the other side. These little portions right here, just go ahead and flip them out. You automatically have his feet. Now the launchers right here, go ahead and split them apart. Then at this point, I'm sorry, these fists have always been real stubborn for me, so I need some slight assistance. There we go. We're almost done. Now just flip up the head. There we go, and we have the Septicon drop shot in all his glory. Let me go ahead and just equip him with this rifle. There we go. You can go ahead and split the legs. Hold on. There we go. But this is the Septicon drop shot in all his glory. As I said, he's a Cybertron repaint. And kind of like with Armada, there was a gimmick with the Cybertron line, which is this. It's a Cyber Planet key. And kind of like the mini cons in the Armada line, the Cyber Planet keys activated special features on the robots. All right. In the case of on his the launcher on his left arm, let me go ahead, brace him. Simply insert this portion of the key into this little slot right here alright slide this out and he has a pair of missile launchers now we take the key back out do the same thing for the other side Not and this also slides forward but he also has a cannon there we go but for a transformer for a Voyager class agency he's got a good bit of firepower 
you know, for the character. He's fairly simple. He's got decent articulation. Let me go ahead and just put up his weapons. Alright, you don't want to go in there. There. Showed you who was boss. Now, as for his articulation at the base of the shoulder, his arms can move left and right just below the shoulder, and bend at the elbow. His, his wrists are fits. Same thing on the other arm. At the leg, it's right at the base of the hip. He'd have been at the knee. And that's really about it for his hip. Now, my opinion, is this a good one yet? Yeah, it is if you can find him. But this figure was only released in uh, 2008 for the Universe 2.0 line. If you can find him, I get him. But overall, it's a good mold. Still a good figure. This is my little review on Decepticon Drop Shot. Everybody, you have a wonderful day.